guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm obviously doing my how I clean my makeup brushes this soap here is the Zoat soap from the laundry section in Walmart it's like a dollar it cleans your brushes so amazingly I got this little handheld brush cleaner from Real Techniques at Walmart it is so good I used to use the mat but I felt like the mat got like really like slippery and it just slid in my sink so I just like this handheld one so all I do to clean my brushes is I just take the soap and I place it in the bottom of my sink. I run my brush over it with some water and then I just go ahead and put my brush into the little brush cleaner and as you guys can see the water is so milky because this is one of my favorite powder brushes and it just gets so dirty so quick I definitely do not clean my brushes as often as I should I don't think any of us really do but it is something for the new year that I really want to start doing at least twice a month so I'm definitely going to try and do that as well as wash my sponges which I will show you guys how I do that as well in a second but as you guys can see here the soap really suds up the brush and this soap is so inexpensive and you get such a huge block of it I mean I've had this soap I feel like for at least like a year and a half now and I use it to br wash my brushes I just store it in a plastic bag and it is just perfectly fine every time I need to use it so I just go ahead and make sure to get all the water out of my brush and as you guys can see the bristles are now white which is so amazing and it feels so good so now I'm just taking this elf sponge I think it's elf it might be Maybelline I think it's Maybelline yeah the Maybelline sponge and I just run this on the soap just to get it really really sudsy make sure that the water is running because um, the soap can get really really dry and it can cause the um, soap to kind of harden and it won't be as sudsy so I just let the water run on it as I'm rinsing it so I just run it over the um, brush cleaner as well I do it mostly on the larger side there's like a larger um, bubble section almost a smaller like ridges and even smaller ridges I just keep it focused on like the larger section where like you would put your bigger brushes so I go ahead and do that and then I just make sure to rinse it under the water as well and if I feel like I still have a lot of foundation in there I just go ahead and wash it again um, you can tell when your um, sponges are getting clean because like the stains go, are out of it and it'll rinse clear instead of having it rinse probably brown due to your foundation. So I just go ahead and do that and that's really it guys. It's really simple. It does take a lot of time especially if you have as many brushes as I do but it is something that you should definitely do because the bacteria and everything can build up in your brushes and make you get pimples and everything like that. So I just make sure to clean my brushes, obviously not as often as I should, but I'm trying. So yeah, that is really it guys. I hope that you enjoy cleaning my brushes with me. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Love you girls. Bye.